Navigating with a compass won't work unless you remember to use this rule. So welcome back to Adventures in Reach, where I want you to try a new small adventure, to build confidence in the outdoors, and to use that confidence in other settings in your life. So let's get started. In this miniature explanation, the arrow represents our starting point. The flags each represent a tree, rock, or landscape feature that we could navigate to. And the cone at the end represents our destination. The big mistake that I've seen a few people make is that they line up the red arrows, they look down the direction of travel arrow, but they don't use any reference points. Keep an eye on the two red arrows and the direction of travel arrow and see how it changes in relation to the orange cone or destination. If I simply keep those arrows lined up, I can walk anywhere in relation to that destination. So that doesn't help me much when navigating. I must instead do the following. To get to the cone, we are first going to find our bearing. That would generally be done on a map, although it could be done from sight. So we again line up red in the shed, as the saying goes, or the red arrows together, just like that. We then sight down the direction of travel arrow from our starting point and see what it points at, this first flag. So let's walk there. Do the same thing again. We line up our arrows, sight down the direction of travel arrow, go to the next flag. And we just keep repeating this. And we made it. Remember that if this video was helpful, inspiring, or entertaining to you, that you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bells so that you are aware of the next video. Thank you.